What's up everybody? This video is going to be about five things that I love about Staten Island, New York and five things that I really don't like about Staten Island, New York. Check it out. My name is George S. Wanaka. I'm a realtor here with Search Staten Island Realty, powered by Wanaka Realtors and Appraisers, right here in Staten Island, New York. So today, we're gonna talk about five things that I just love about Staten Island, New York, and five things that I could probably do without. So I've got five topics today to talk about here, and we're gonna talk about them all. And we're gonna talk about the pros, and the cons, love and the hate of those five topics. So without any further ado, let's get cracking. Number one, one of the best things that I love about Staten Island, New York is the proximity that we are to the biggest and best city in the whole world, New York City or Manhattan. Now that doesn't come without its pros as well as its cons. I mean, we know that the city's got some of the best nightlife. It's got some of the best things to do. It's got art, it's got culture, it's got Broadway, it's got professional sports teams. You name it, we've got it here. And we've also got the con, which is with any major big metropolitan city, we've got the traffic, right? We've got cars on the roads, we've got cars on the highways, um, mass transit is sometimes a mess but again when you look at all the positives that we have here and even though we've got some of the large longest commute times in the nation you kind of balance it out and say okay you got to give a little bit to take a little bit number two hey another pro of living right here in staten island new york is we are known as the borough of parks what does that mean it means we have more parkland than any other borough in the tri-state area. We've got golf courses, we have Gateway National Park, we have Miller Field, we have Cove Lakes Park, we've got Bloomingdale Park, we've got parks for days. But that also comes with the con. So we've got a green belt and because we've got all of this green space, one of the things that recently started happening again was the wildlife look at Staten Island and go, we wanna be there too. And that became a problem because the deer started to come across and swim across and come over to wonderful Staten Island because they liked it too. What's not to like, right? All this green space. But unfortunately, they brought those little pesky picks with them. And that's one of those issues that's going on right now that we have to deal with and gonna go from there. So that's one of the cons to having all this wonderful green space is unfortunately there are some nuisances that we have to deal with. Number three now let's talk about the pros of the cost of living right here in staten island well you might have saw my other video that i did on the cost of living right here in staten island new york and some people may sit back and say you know what you're still a major metropolitan city well the pros of staten island from a cost of living perspective is is compared to other parts of the tri-state area as well as the city and the five boroughs Staten Island is one of the more affordable places for somebody to live outside of the other five boroughs. What's the con to it? Well, the con is it's still unfortunately not that cheap. It's cheap in relation to the other five boroughs and home prices are a little bit higher, but that's also because it's cheaper to live here than it is to live there. So even though we're still part of the city and our, our costs are still higher, we're still lower compared to other parts of the city. Number four, my next pro of living right here in Staten Island. Oh my Lord, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the food and the restaurants. Oh yeah, we have some of the best restaurants right here in Staten Island, New York. But again, we're part of New York City, so what's not to like about the food here? You've got every type of food you could possibly ever think of. You've got Italian, you have Greek, you have ethnic food, you have, you name it, we have it. But that's also the con. Because as anywhere else, when you've got a good restaurant and you have a lot of good restaurants, when you go out to eat, you sometimes have to wait a while to get a table. As the expression goes, reservations are preferred. Number five. The next thing that I absolutely love 
about being here right here in Staten Island, New York is our people. And what I mean by our people, our people that live here in Staten Island, New York are some of the most charitable, giving people that you'll ever want to meet, especially living in a major metropolitan city. Staten Islanders take care of Staten Island. And it's such a wonderful thing to see. I see it all the time, people wanting to give back. They want to give back to their communities. They give to their local little leagues, their uh, Pop Warner football teams, this charity, that charity. It, it is just so, it's such a blessing to see and live in an area that the, the people are just so we take, as the expression goes, we take care of our own. Well, that's what a lot of what Staten Islanders do. The only con to that is, there's so many great organizations that are out there and doing God's work, for lack of a better term. It's so difficult to decide where you can have to donate to. And it'd be great to have to donate, to be able to donate to everything. But when you, unfortunately, when you're trying to do as much as you can, there always is a limit. And unfortunately, sometimes that limit is where is sometimes of a con because every one of these organizations are great organizations. So that's one of, unfortunately, the cons. Like I said, my name is George Wanaka. I am a local realtor here, right here in Staten Island, New York. And I'm going to be shooting a lot of more of these videos. So do me a favor. If you want to check these out, hit the subscribe button just below and get no instant notifications as to the next video that we do. I'm going to be doing a lot of other videos as well, all different things about Staten Island. And I also do videos in regards to individualized areas. Those are going to be coming soon as well. So if you have want to know about a specific area in particular, do me a favor, drop a little note on the comments below. Let me know what neighborhood you'd like to see. And that might be the next one that we shoot. Until next time, we'll see you later.